Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon, and today we're getting into our first BoxyCharm PR box for the month of July. So if you guys want to see what I got in my box, a little review on the products in the box, and a short little makeup look, then just make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of my Big Beauty YouTube family yet. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Leave a comment and let me know if you guys got any of the items in the BoxyCharm July box that we will be talking about. And don't forget to show your support and thumbs up the video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to get me. A million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers. As I mentioned earlier, this is a PR gifted boxy charm box so this video is sponsored it is not being paid i just got free products to review for you guys we get the best of boxy charm as a creator meaning our boxes are not curated like how you guys would get your boxes i did recently mention i canceled my boxy charm subscription because we got on their PR list. So I just felt like it was a way to save some money. And in this box, like I said, we do get the best products of the month. So I'm super excited for that. And I know you guys are too. As always, even though this is a sponsored video and this was sent for review, all reviews and opinions are always 100% honest and authentically me because I am me, you are you. And as we know, even if we have the same skin, hair, body, concerns what works for me still may not work for you so always keep that in mind i'm super excited to be sharing this box with you guys today so let's get into it if you guys are new to boxy charm boxy charm is a monthly curated subscription beauty box so basically they curate the products to you depending on what you put in your profile first i should say there are three different subscriptions each month you get a variety of products. You can review them on the BoxyCharm website. And what's even better is if you review these products on the website, each product and even the box, and you do get charms for this. What the charms do, they're basically a point system and use them to use in the charm store to buy more products. As a creator for BoxyCharm, I do not get the BoxyCharm Premium. So this is the base box. The base box is $27.99. It's around 30 bucks with tax. You get five full size products. It values around $175. You get one choice to choose from and then BoxyCharm will pick out all the other products for you. If you guys are interested in getting the premium, the premium box is $39.99 and it comes with six full size products. You get two choices to choose from each month and your value is around $215. And then there is the Lux box. So the Lux box is a quarterly box. This is an upgrade for the base box. The premium does not have this upgrade. And for this, you get eight full size products, two choices to choose from, and it values around $395. Since the Lux box is an upgrade to the base box, you are paying a little bit more. It's $32 plus the $27.99 for the base box. So basically adding all that up, it's around like 60, between 60 and $65. If you guys do wanna get a subscription, you guys can use my referral link, which will be down in the description box below. With this referral link, I earn a small commission. Now let's get into our July box. I know this is a little late. Um, we were a little backed up from pregnancy and everything that was going on trying to catch up with everything But I promise you guys I will have these boxes earlier on in the month. So I just got my ipsy box So we will ta be talking about my ipsy glam and glam bag plus for July next week and then we also just got the glam bag x which is the upgrade so i'm super excited to share that with you guys and show you what i got but that will be in another video so stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed this month this is how our beautiful baby is looking and the theme for this month is status Ooh, so i love the fun colors on the pamphlet and it is our pamphlet so this does tell you a little bit more about what products you got in here it tells you the pricing and just a little bit more about each product that you got and if you want to follow on instagram 
everything's right there for you. I don't always end up using everything in the box, mainly because some of it is skincare related. And if you guys know, over on my Instagram, I have tons and tons and tons of skincare. I actually have a bunch of skincare from my previous paid for a boxy charms. So I will be sharing that over on uh, Instagram once some of my skincare runs out. So just keep that in mind, but I will still be talking about these products. So first up, we have these beautiful babies right here. And this is the Eloise Beauty Prism Luxury Eyeshadow Brush Set. These are eyeshadow brushes, as mentioned. And look how pretty they are. I'm gonna take them out the packaging in a second. These are $22, which honestly for brushes, you guys know me and brushes. I love some brushes. And I honestly don't think you can beat that price for four. Um, we'll see how well they play out it says create any gorgeous look with this prism luxury eyeshadow brush set this set includes four essential brushes that help you blend with precision to perfect and enhance any eyeshadow look from subtle to glam each brush is made with super soft synthetic fibers with a sleek and sturdy holographic prism handle look how cute they are guys so this is the handle itself it is so so pretty it's giving off like greens and honestly it's like a whole rainbow in here i don't know if you guys can see that on camera but it is like purples in there there's like yellow and green and blue and the handle itself is pink so so beautiful then they have these rose gold uh piece right here i'm not sure what to call this and pink and white bristle brushes. They do feel super soft, so I'm excited to use them for this look today. The next product we have is this baby right here, and this is the Phase Zero Makeup, the Necessities Eyeshadow Palette. These eight universal matte shades are incredibly buildable. They deliver smooth, highly blendable color designed to create a soft, blended look. This retails for $40, and it is a new launch from Phase Zero Makeup. So let's open this up. Now I did try to open this up earlier and I do like to watch my little boxy charm videos on uh, YouTube by, I believe it's Glam with Suzanne. And there's another girl who does it, but I can't remember her name off the top. Oh, Subbox Lover. She does the unboxings too and I love them. Glam by Suzanne actually had a problem with getting the box, the packaging out the box. And I had that same problem. I actually busted a nail and that's why my nail looks so short here. So this was packed very tightly, um, but as you guys can see, I kind of ripped it a little bit. Now it comes out pretty smooth. This is how it looks. Very sleek packaging, minimalistic. And these are the shades and it does come with a compact little mirror, which I'm super excited about because I cannot stand when palettes don't have mirrors. Like I wanna be able to see myself while I'm putting this on. The color story is very beautiful. But honestly, all first-hand impressions, I think for $40, you can honestly find a palette like this somewhere else for cheaper. Um, but we're gonna test it out and see if it feels good on the eyes, if it's as buttery pigmented as it says. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these brushes. Now, these are not labeled. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. Now, there are two of them that look similar. Just one is a bit more fluffy, so let me just show you guys so you know exactly which one I'm using. I'm gonna be using this fluffy, fluffy, tall one right here we're gonna go in with this shade right here first it does seem pigmented because i don't i wouldn't say that's fallout because i get that with all of my eyeshadow palettes if you put too much on the brush i did forget to set my base for my eyes so let me do that off camera real quick and i'll be right back i'm just gonna set it with some concealer now let's get into the palette as i mentioned we're gonna go into this first shade right here Oh, okay. This baby got some pigment. It does feel very soft and it's sticking down very nicely on my concealer base, which I'm liking. So let me do this other eye off camera and get into the next shade. So now I'm gonna go in with this angled brush right here and i'm gonna go ahead and go into that deeper brown this one right here we're just gonna use that on the outer corner of our eye right here to darken it up and deepen that crease a little bit more that's a pretty color
blending beautifully beautifully and again really 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 soft on the eyes both the brush and the eyeshadow i don't see any chalkiness there's no fallout but of course you always want to tap your brush beforehand because again this is a pigmented palette now we're gonna get into this brush which is a little bit more dense and packed in there i think i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this first one right here and now i am going directly into the palette and not tapping off my brush because i do want that pigment on there since is a this is a lighter color for my complexion i'm gonna go very neutral today i'm just gonna add that little pop of shimmer on the inner corner in a second and then we are pretty much done with the eyes this is a very neutral moment for me a very like everyday almost palette everyday look i mean but like i said i still do enjoy it i still do like it i will be using this palette more i still think for the price you can get this type of color story and another palette for a little bit cheaper you may not be able to get it without fallout because i haven't seen too many neutral eyeshadow palettes that have this soft and of a buttery pigment that uh didn't have fallout so like said we haven't we've tried a lot of stuff but we haven't tried in the world of beauty everything because we know there's a lot of stuff so so this is how we're looking i'm liking it let's go ahead and do the other eye off camera and i'll be go right back into this kind of deepish warm brown right here and just use that on the outer corner to deepen up the outer corner of the eyes bring that color back in blend 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 like that and see that see that baby that is how you do it now that that's done let's do our last step for the eye look we're going to use this really shimmery kind of pearlescent color right here and we're going to use that just on the inner corner with our last brush oh that is gorgeous and it's picking up so beautifully on this brush it does seem like there's a little bit of fallout with this one not too much it's not bad like i've seen in some palettes and it's like the more you build it the more of the kind of like goldish yellow comes out the less you put the more it's gonna look like that kind of almost white pearlescent so that's just gorgeous gorgeous right, so we're done with our palette and our brushes as you guys can see these babies pick up a lot and again it could be the palette too we won't really know unless i use these with another palette so now the next product we're going to be pulling out the box and using is this beautiful baby right here y'all know i love a good mascara this is the beauty for certain whole lot of mascara it is a new brand to boxy and it retails for $32. It's a volume boosting, lash doubling, insta enhancing. And it also says, I put on my mascara just to go to the bodega. Yes. It's all I need to get a bold look that makes it bang. That's beauty for certain. I love that whole thing behind it. Beauty for certain. Um, and this packaging is just so cute. Look at it. Look at it. Eh. Yeah, baby. It says use micellar water or an oil-based cleanser. It was my last tubing mascara. I did use an oil-based cleanser because I have acne-prone skin. I always, always, always double cleanse every single day. For y'all, it may be a little bit too much, but for my skin, it's perfect for me. Um, even with oil cleansing, though, that last tubing mascara was still crazy hard to come off. And my lashes felt really hard. They looked great, but they felt really hard. Um, so let's try this one out. This is the, the packaging right here. Again, another simplistic but very cute mascara. And this is the wand. It has like this hourglass shape. I just 
curled my lashes off camera. That is something I always do before applying mascara. I just like how it looks. It glides beautifully, beautifully. So this is one coat. Let me do the bottom lashes real quick so you guys can really get a view on how this looks. This is how one eye looks. And this is the side that's not done, of course. I mean, do y'all see that difference? I do see a little bit of lift still, even after I use the curler. And it definitely lengthened them. It added a little bit of volume, not too much, but honestly, I don't mind that because I already have good lashes, but for someone who probably wants a lot of volume, either you would have to build this up or this may not just be for you. We're not going to build it up because it already looks good. And when I tell you guys, this stuff slides on like butter and I mean butter butter so i'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and then we're gonna get into the next product go ahead and finish this look off camera there's not really much to do just my lips and my liner and i'm gonna be done with and a little bit of highlight of course um and then we'll be done with and then we're gonna get into the last two skincare products we had a little mishap a lot of mishap very aggravated from it but we got over it my last few videos i am using my vanity light now um it is like 8 p.m and i actually recorded the rest of this video already but tell me why my iphone was in slow motion so now every last one of my videos starting from here on out was in slow mo all the rest of the clips i did so we have to redo it so i am back um, luckily I didn't take my makeup off yet, so we're still looking good. Um, the last few products that I did use for this look, just to let you guys know, for setting spray, I used the Almasca Hydra Setting Spray. For the lip combo, I used the Ruby Kisses Ultra Easy Lip Liner in Brown, along with the Victoria's Secret Velvet Cream Lip Stain, Velvet Matte Cream Lip Stain in shade bold also used the contact skin matte lipstick in shade tears are falling and to top it all off for the gloss we used the makeup revolution pout bomb this is a plumping lip gloss and i also did on my waterline to brighten up the eye look a little bit use this eyeliner this is the ruby kisses auto eyeliner in white and for the winged liner we used the l maquillage ink liner in black for the highlight, which I used on my brow bone, my cheekbones, and my nose, I used this baby right here. This is the Makeup Obsessions Mega Honey Highlighter. One of my favorite go-to highlighters for a natural look. This is the look. I love how it came together. It's such a glam but natural look still. Um, it's honestly giving kind of wedding vibes right now. Of course, not the lip, but the eye look is giving me wedding vibes right now. Now let's get into our last two products. These are skincare related. The next product we have up is this baby right here. And this is the Dr. Lily Fan Probiotic X Lash Enhancer. It retails for $68 and it says, this exclusive formula featuring a patent peptides complex is natural and safe to use. With clinical results, it delivers the wow effect while providing length and volume. It helps promote the natural growth of beautifully long and healthy lashes. Apply at night to help you get gorgeous lashes. With continuous use, grow longer and fuller lashes in four to 12 weeks. Um, we do have, I did learn this when I was learning about the other lash serum that I'm currently using. Um, it does take a while because your hair grows in cycles, so it will take a while for you to see a difference. So you will have to use it for that like four to 12 weeks, um, most likely more closer to the 12 week side. So like I said, we will be trying this out. We'll see how it goes, but this is how it looks. It isn't like one of those last serum that has the wand, like a mascara, it has a regular 
a regular tipped wand and this is what it looks like you just apply it to your lash line at night and just sleep <laughs> just sleep that's all you gotta do so the last product in this box is this baby right here and i'm actually really excited for it because i got a kate somerville cleanser goat milk cleanser a while back in my boxy charm it was literally like one of my first i believe it was in my first boxy charm box that i bought and i just didn't haven't gotten to try it out yet because if you know me on instagram i have tons and tons and tons of skincare like if i was to turn my phone around i have like three or four shelves full of skincare and then i have a skincare closet in my uh bathroom and i have more skincare in my drawers and more skincare in some of these boxes i have next to me so <laughs> we skincared up over here i'm not mad though but i will be waiting to use this um for when i start using my kate somerville cleanser because i would love to see how the two work together this is the kate somerville goat milk moisturizing cream it's meant to condition and restore so this is what it looks like and on the card it does say this is 76 dollars and it's clinically tested safe for sensitive skin and gentle enough for all skin types this nourishing cream is clinically formulated with moisture boosting visible redness reducing ingredients known to soothe dry tight skin inspired by the relief founder kate experienced as a child when goat's milk helped alleviate her painful eczema i don't have eczema on my face i have eczema on my body like i would say like towards the winter months um i don't really get it too much during the summer unless it's like extreme heat and i'm like not hydrated enough and my skin is really dry uh but I am combo to oily skin, so for me, this moisturizer would be better towards the winter. We will see because I've actually used moisturizers uh, that were meant for dry skin or drier skin types, and they worked very well even during the summertime. So like I said, we'll see. We'll check out the texture when I'm ready to open this. So this whole box retailed out to be $238 now most of the time i know when i got my boxy charms it always retailed out to be at like anywhere between 120 to 165 it never really reached over 200 maybe one time can't remember too well so most likely you might not be getting this value out of your box but you never know if you do get this variation let me know my final thoughts on this box is i absolutely loved it um even though this is my first gifted box and I know there's going to be more for them to come and for more for me to love, I love this box. <laughs> so to wrap it up, I would say my favorite product out of everything is the Beauty For Certain Whole Lotta Mascara because baby, this gives you whole lotta lashes. I like, I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. I love how this defines, it lengthens, it gives a little bit of lift. It's not clumpy. The formula is so smooth and creamy. That is pretty much it. That wraps up my final thoughts and the value of this box. So if you guys had a favorite item in this box, whether you had the subscription and got some of these products this month or don't have the subscription and just liked some of these, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like this look. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Join my Big Booty YouTube family. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Because we will be on time with our boxy chart, Ipsy, and all our other PR boxes coming soon. Next week, we will actually have our first Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxings for July. And then the week after, we should have... Oh, actually, the week after, we will be doing our Ipsy Glam Bag X, which is the upgrade to the Glam Bag. So I'm super excited to share that because I didn't even know us creators get those, but we do. So I'm excited, and I hope you guys are too. And like I said, if you are, hit the bell. Hit the notification bell, please. Show your support and love. Give this video a huge smash of the like button. Share it with friends and family so they can enjoy some boxy charm too. Don't forget to check out that referral link down in the description box below if you do want to sign up. And with that being said, you guys have a wonderfully awesome weekend. You guys stay beautifully awesome. And I'll see you back here next Thursday as always. Later.